Hey YouTube, happy Monday, Culture Confederacy here, pipe and coffee in hand. This is a one take video, whatever it is, is what it is. Smoking some velvet today, my trusty corn cob pipe with me. So this is a story at foxnews.com. Washington state legislator strikes word marijuana from state law citing racism. The bill's sponsor said the word is pejorative and racist. This is by John Brown, so this came out today. I'm reading this to you cold. The Washington State Legislator, uh, Legislature recently passed a bill replacing the word marijuana with cannabis in all state laws, citing the alleged racist origins of the Spanish word. Quote, the term marijuana itself is pejorative and racist, said Democrat State Representative Melanie Morgan. She claimed this during the 2021 testimony regarding House Bill 1210, which she sponsored according to local CBS affiliate KIRO7. Quote, as recreational marijuana use became more popular, it was negatively associated with Mexican immigrants, Morgan explained. Even though it seems simple because it's just one word, the reality is we're healing the wrongs that were committed against black and brown people around cannabis. So the left are going after their own. Weren't these the same people who said, yeah, let it all hang out. Get stoned. Do what you want to do. The counterculture back in the 60s. Anybody remember that? Now they're going after each other. This is a real scream, folks. A real scream. Morgan went on during her testimony to quote Harry Angslinger, the first commissioner of the Federal Bureau of Narcotics. Now let's stop right there. Here's what I think about pot use, okay? I don't, I think people have, uh, I think people, how should I put this? I think people should spend their time more wisely than sitting there getting stoned or getting drunk. I mean, if you want to go out and have a couple of drinks, I don't have a problem with that. Uh, I can go as far as to say, okay, if you want to have a joint once in a while, all right, but this whole culture around cannabis, and this is the mentality of people, let's go out and get stoned or let's get drunk all the time. You know, there was a time where people were creative. They were productive. How do you think great pieces of art and music are created? It's not by sitting there and getting stoned. And I really think that the war on drugs should be handled at the state level. That was the first mistake. Federal government should not be getting involved with really what should be a state issue. Now, with harder drugs such as fentanyl, I can understand that because that's been a real epidemic in the country lately. But for the most part, this should all be handled at the state level. You let the states handle this, and I guarantee you're not going to have an issue with pot or uh, with heroin or any of these drugs. So going back to the article here, talking about this quote from Harry Angslinger, once again, the first commissioner of the Federal Bureau of Narcotics, who played a pivotal role in the Marijuana Tax Act of 1937 that banned selling and processing cannabis. It's a well-known fact that marijuana was used in jazz clubs. Uh, so I'm no prude here. I mean, Hector Berlioz talked about taking opium in Symphony Fantastique. But it was Angslinger that said, and I quote, marijuana is the most, and speaking of that though, I had to research a paper about this. Berlioz did not sit there and take a lot of them all the time or take opium all the time when he was writing music. He couldn't because it interfered with the creative process. You try getting, you, know, you go and you get stoned and you try to sit down and write out a symphony with 20 or 30 parts for an orchestra. You wouldn't be able to do it. Would not be able to do it. Quote, it was Angslinger that said, and I quote, marijuana is the most violent causing drug in the history of mankind, and most marijuana uses are Negroes, Hispanic, Caribbean, and entertainers. Okay, so he mentions entertainers here, right? So yes, he does mention African Americans, or at the time they used the term Negro, Hispanic, Caribbean, and entertainers. Their satanic music, jazz, and swing result from marijuana usage, said Morgan. But it was used as a racist terminology to lock up black and brown people, she added. Well, you had a lot of whites that were uh, getting involved in this drug scene as well. What about the 1960s? All the rock and roll stars? 
Purple haze, anybody? Governor Jay Inslee signed the bill after it passed anonymously on March 11th, and its provisions will go into effect in June. Now, in 2020, Washington state lawmakers established the, quote, Washington Task Force on Social uh, Equity in Cannabis. There we go with that word equity again. With the intention of bringing more diversity to pot shop owners by offering minority cannabis license applicants grants and financial assistance to get their businesses started. You mean to tell me they couldn't? Start some other type of business, like a hardware store maybe, or or a software store, something that could have real use for the community. By a vote of 220 to 204, the U.S. House of Representatives voted earlier this month to decriminalize possession of marijuana on the federal level, which they should have done a long time ago. So let me read some of the comments here. Tells me, oops, something went wrong. Let's see if it will fire up the comments here at foxnews.com. Our Wi-Fi gets a little screwy once in a while. I've been able to uh, fix my Chromebook. You have to go in and kind of just switch from the Wi-Fi, I guess the DNS network to the Google network or whatever it is. If you have a Chromebook, you know know what I'm talking about. If you have a Chromebook... Somebody writes, the term newspeak was coined by George Orwell in his 1949 anti-utopia novel 1984 and Orwell's fictional totalitarian state. Newspeak was a language favored by the minions of Big Brother and in Orwell's words, designed to diminish the range of thought. Someone replied, <clears throat> pardon me, so Orwell's novel was about a dystopian society and for, and this is in parentheses, and for the Dems out there, dystopian means relating to or denoting a state or society where there is great suffering or injustice. I'd be curious to know how Dems interpret the meaning of the novel if they've, uh, if they've even bothered to read it. I'm, once again, I'm reading this to you cold. Perhaps in their altered state minds, alter, altered state mind, they'll have confused utopian with dystopian. Gee, I wonder who's doing that. Says here, Orwell's book is their Bible. No, I think it's the book of cannabis is their Bible. Just wondering if we can somehow explore some of the differences in functionality between states that have legalized marijuana. In quotes here, I choose that the, I choose I chose that word because I'm a white male and I'm staying in character. And those have and those that haven't are they experiencing different outcomes? I feel that anyone over the eight, let me go back to this one here. My phone, uh, my page just, uh, my phone, my page just jumped here. I feel that anyone over the age of 18 should be free to use the word marijuana and be free to grow their own vocabulary. <laughs> That's good. I like that. I will continue to use the word marijuana whenever I feel like it. Marijuana! With all these uh, emojis or whatever. More from the woke government or the woke governed, rather, completely out of touch with reality, Washington State, the lens they see through to appropriate certain wordage is based upon a blown out, uh, pardon me, a blowout of the, boy, I'm, I'm doing really good in this video today. This is what happens when you're pressed for time. It is based upon a blowout of the water philosophy that the rest of the sound mind to see as trivial or normality they cannot exist to abide within. Okay. Translated, the Washington state lawmakers lack the ability or motivation to address real issues, so they focus on insignificant matters like this in hopes the voters will believe they're actually doing something. Hmm, come to think of it, that sounds like Washington, D.C., too. So these are some of the comments at foxnews.com. Article here about Washington state taking the word marijuana out of their uh, laws, replacing it with cannabis. It's out of the article again. Washington state legislator strikes word marijuana from state law, citing racism by John Brown came out today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click that like button. Well, you know what to do here on YouTube. Tired of saying that. But you can also hit me up on Instagram at hashtag Jason Composes, or you can catch me at Twitter, Culture Confederacy at Twitter. But it may come up as Confederate Composer. For some reason, uh, they've got that set that way, and, and I've been trying to change that. But it should be uh, Cultural Confederacy. But either way, you'll find me either... It's going to be Confederate Composer or Cultural Confederacy uh, on Twitter. So thanks for being with me, Cultural Confederacy, saying peace out. Stay safe, everybody. God bless this great country, and I'll catch you next time. And let's aim higher than sitting around and getting snowed.